Hey, hey guys, this is emeek77 from FinalCutStudioSchool.com and I'm here to show you a brief introduction of uh, stroke and stroke dynamics. So that has to do with paint, so go up and select your paintbrush and let's just draw a square here on the screen. It don't have to be perfect, okay? So now we have this square and if I play it, you can see it's writing on because over here under my shapes menu which come up you'll see a bunch of of tabs underneath it and some of them are are marked out and we'll get to that okay so select your behaviors and you'll see there's a write on behavior if I turn the write on behavior off it don't write on but I'm gonna leave it writing on and I wanna have it keep going I'm gonna have it go forward we'll have it draw on instead of draw on a race okay so it's basically set up to write on from the get-go okay you can change your stuff like you can draw and erase which is as it comes on it's going to erase itself out see but we can go over the ins and outs of paint later I'm here to show you the dynamics of paint it's called paint dynamics um, and it's basically changing your paint into a particle system so now that we have this write on behavior Let's go to our shapes tab. Now under the outline you'll see it says solid. Now in order to take advantage of our advanced tabs and geometry and stroke tabs we have to change this to airbrush. So change it to airbrush and this will bring your stroke and advanced tabs um, into play. So now uh, with the stroke tab you have all kinds of adjustments to go in and adjust your stroke. You'll have to play with these because the options are just unlimited. There's the angle overstroke, brush scale randomness, brush scale, spacing overstroke, and they all got these big graphs here. You just go in and mess with them, but we're going to mess with that later. I want to show you dynamics. So now, if you've changed your ride on behavior, your paint stroke to, to uh, airbrush, go to your advanced tab, and you'll see this little dynamics checkbox. If you check that, let me go to the beginning. If you check this, this is going to uh, dynamically interact with your paint stroke, and now let me play it back. You can see now, it's turned that paint stroke into a particle. So, now you can go in your dynamics and throw down your disclosure triangle. You can adjust your emission angle. You can adjust your emission range. You can adjust the life. You can make it smaller. And the randomness, the speed, you can up your speed. now you can see it's a little more random so let me go over that again let's open up my project and erase everything okay I'm gonna go select my paint and I'm gonna I'm going to I don't know just stroke an E on here so now let's play that back wasn't quite an E was it let's try that again Okay, now we have this E gear. Let's move it back to the beginning. Now let's go over this again. First thing you want to do, select your paint shape. Go down to brush type and select airbrush. Now, go to your stroke and you can do any adjustments here that you want. Go to your advanced tab, turn on dynamics, and adjust them the way you want them to look. And when I play this back, you can see as it writes on, it becomes a particle. Let's just take our life down a little bit. Let's slow her down a little bit. A little bit slower. There. Now we have a dynamically changing paint stroke. So you all get in here, do some do some experimenting with your paint strokes. Also, if you want to, you can go up to add behavior, shape, and select sequence paint. You see, and this will add a sequence paint behavior now. Now what you can do is you can add behaviors. I'm going to add color. 
I'm going to add a color and I want to sequence it through and we'll make it blue. So now if you look real close, it's blue and it's sequencing through to red. So let's go over to our shape and turn off our dynamics so you can um, get an idea. Now you can see that it's going from blue to red. You can see, and you can make it do it as fast as you want, as often as you want. There's so many things to be involved between the sequence paint behavior and the dynamics behavior. You can do a lot of really cool looking stuff, guys. So if you have any questions, get a hold of me. This has been a brief intro into uh, paint dynamics. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, this is something that not a lot of people touch on, but I'd like to see it used more often. And if you guys have any cool ideas, post them as a video response. I'll approve them. I'd love to see what you guys can do with this stuff. So this is emig 77 saying thank you guys. We'll see you next time.